Okay, I'm just going to do a quick reference for myself, um, how I change my texts on my terminal and as well as the colors. First thing I do is hit command space to type in terminal. And you could see that basic terminal, nothing special. Um, you can see all your documents and everything else. Type in clear to get rid of all that. Um, if you don't have your bash RC file set up, the first thing you can do is type in touch space period bash rc that will create our bash rc file and after that you can type in open space dash e pe space period bash rc and this will open it up in a text edit um, here's what i normally use for mine um, to see what it looks like you can type in source space period bash rc and this is how the terminal looks or this is what I normally use for mine and here's all the colors that I use. Um, if you want more information on how to set that up you can find plenty of videos on YouTube that would probably explain it. So let's just say I want an ls let's just go to desktop so we'll type in cd desktop tab and then we'll have our desktop color change and then we'll have a little arrow pointing to what's going on. You can type in Alice to see all the screenshots that I've done for a previous video. And then clear to clear, but we're still on our desktop. Sweet. Um, also, if we hit Command Q to quit out of our terminal, then we want to open up our terminal again. Notice that it's not there. So what we could do to fix that is we can type in CD tilde or so let's just make sure we're in the home directory. Then we can type in touch period bash underscore profile. If you have not created um, your bash underscore profile yet, then to open it up, we could do the same way as we opened up our bash RC. We could type in open space dash e space period bash underscore profile. And then open up our bash profile here. What we could do is we could take this code, our, our little text, I should say, copy it and paste it in. Control C or Command C, Command V, Command S to save it, and then type in source space period bash underscore profile, and then you could see what we have. Oops, and we get that. And if we close out of it and then reopen it, we keep it. But let's close out of it again just real quick, open it up again. Notice how we have this up here. And let's just say we yeah, saved all this and closed out of it. And maybe we don't want to see this stuff up here. What we could do is go into our terminal, go into preferences, go into shell, and you could also type in this stuff that we had in our text in here, and I'll do the same thing basically. We'll type in run command, and we'll get rid of that, and we'll just type in clear, comma, or semicolon I should say. Close out of this, command Q to quit that, and now all that extra stuff will be gone. Sweet. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video and have fun.